I am here at Lafayette with John Glazer of Compass Box Whiskey, and today you're going to teach us about blended whiskeys. So, first yeah. of all, what is a blended whiskey for those not in the know? Well, we're talking about Scotch whiskey here, yeah. so we're talking about um, Scotch whiskey blends, and there are, most people don't realize there are three types of blends that are made in Scotland. Blended Scotch whiskey, mm -hmm. okay, that's a legally defined category, blended Scotch whiskey. Right. There's blended malt whiskey, mm -hmm. and then there's blended grain whiskey. There are three kinds of blends. I think when people think of whiskey, they tend to think of single malt and then blends, and they don't understand that there are different categories within the blend. What does it mean for something to be a blended Scotch? Yeah. So, um, in Scotch whiskey, there are only two kinds of whiskeys mm -hmm. still malt whiskey and grain whiskey. Right. Malt whiskey for malted barley, mm -hmm. distilled in pot stills, grain whiskey distilled from wheat or corn, a little bit of barley distilled in continuous stills. Only two kinds of whiskey that are um, produced. From those, there are five legally defined categories. Single malt being one of them, right. a malt whiskey from a single distillery, single grain whiskey, a grain whiskey from a single distillery, and then the three kinds of blends I talked about a moment ago. So mm -hmm. Blended Scotch whiskey, blended malt whiskey, blended grain whiskey. And that is the framework for understanding Scotch whiskey. It seems really complex, but if you think of it that way, two kinds of whiskey distilled, five categories. That's Easy. It. And so when something is blended, what is it blended from? I think the concept for people of a single malt, single, it comes from one place, you know, yep. with a blend, how do you know the quality is there? How do you understand kind of yep. where the blend comes so, from? It, blending simply means in Scotch whiskey that mm -hmm. is it, it, the whiskey in question is comprised from whiskeys from more than one distillery. Right. So in this case, in the case of blended Scotch whiskey, it means it's from some of the distilleries might be malt whiskey dist distilleries, some mm -hmm. might be grain will, will be grain whiskey distilleries. It's a combination of those two types. Mm -hmm. In this case, this is a combination of different single malts, mm -hmm. but just single malts. In the case of blended grain whiskey, it's s different single grain whiskeys from different distilleries, but only grain whiskey. So that, that's it's a combination of whiskeys from different distilleries. And so what's the advantage and disadvantage of a blended whiskey? You know, when you're in the store and you're looking to buy a whiskey and you're saying, I really want Compass Box, but I don't know quite how to buy. You know, how do you look at the blends and know kind of, oh, this is interesting because it's blended? Well, I think at the end of the day, it's about trusting brands and trusting producers because there's a perception in the world amongst many people that single malts are the best in scotch mm -hmm. and blends are the crap. Right. right? <laughs> and it's a, it, it, it's a perception based on the fact that lots of blends out there aren't terribly interesting. They're big mass produced right. uh, products. Um, and single malts, because they're just malt whiskey and they don't have grain whiskey, tend to be more flavorful. Mm -hmm. But there are bad single malts as well as good single malts. Right. There are amazing blends as well as really boring blends. Mm -hmm. So it's, at the end of the day, we need to trust brands and producers. And as a distiller of a whiskey, what do you gain by having a blend versus trying to focus on a single yeah. malt? So if you're talking about a single malt whiskey or single grain whiskey, you're talking about the output, the produce of one single place. Right. For me, when I what attracted me, me to blending 20 years ago was looking at blending as a platform for creativity. Yeah. With blending, I can borrow, I can borrow whiskeys from different distilleries, if you will, to make my products and make, I can make something that is proprietary and something no single distillery can create. So if you use the example of a, the, 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 the peat monster here, a blended malt whiskey, if you tasted it without the label on it, people would say, wow, it tastes like a, a smoky single malt. Well, it, it, it is in quality comparable to smoky single malts. It just happens to come from more than one distillery as opposed to a single malt which just comes from one place. Mm. And so then how do you choose the distilleries for the blends? Well, it depends on the, the type of whiskey I want to bottle. So mm -hmm. if I want to bottle something light and fruity, I'm going to go to certain distilleries. If I want to bo bottle something big and smoky, I'm going to go to other distilleries. It depends on what I'm trying to create. Blending really is a platform for creativity. It's not just a way to make big mass-produced whiskeys. For small producers like us, it's about creativity. Mm -hmm. And let's talk about the process of blending, because obviously so much goes into deciding blends. Do you have an idea in mind before you get started on a particular year or at a particular time, or is it really that tasting, putting things together? How do you do the process? Of Sometimes blending? I come to making a new whiskey um, with a, a firm idea in mind, and then I'm trying to source component whiskeys that will help me achieve it. Sometimes it's that. Sometimes you, we stumble upon things. Sometimes we stumble upon whiskeys that we uh, haven't used before, didn't know about, and say, wow, that's a unique flavor profile. What if we added some of this to it? And you can just create something almost out of serendipity. 
Mm. Uh, so it, the inspiration, the ideas come from different, in different ways. Right, and people tend to think of those blended whiskeys as being better for cocktails, better for mixing. Do you find that, or do you find that they drink the same as people would expect a single malt to drink? It, it depends, and tip, mm. generally speaking, blended Scotch whiskeys versus malt whiskeys, whether it's a blended malt or a single malt, right. tend to be more approachable, more versatile, mm -hmm. because the grain whiskey component lightens the flavors of right. the malt whiskey. However, in some cases, in Glasgow Blend, Great King Street Glasgow Blend, there is so much malt whiskey, such a high proportion of malt whiskey in that compared to other blended Scotch whiskey brands, mm -hmm. that it, it, this one almost drinks like a single malt. Yet with that touch of grain whiskey that we add to it, um, it has a versatility to it. I, I love people using these, these whiskeys for cocktails. Wonderful. Well, Tom, thank you so much for explaining blended whiskey to us okay. and helping to. And obviously, if you want to try some of your own, you can always pick up one of the many delicious Compass Box blends. Thank you so much. You're welcome.